What is Nero Eyes is posing over there, me? Kind of like that. I know some of you understand completely what I'm talking about. Others will probably like, bitch, you're crazy. Yeah, I know. Hello my lovely nestlings and welcome to today's video where I'm getting ready because one of my nieces has her birthday today and I have a lot of new stuff to try out and I was like let's do a video about it so yeah what do I have I have a new tinted moisturizer from Smashbox that is in an olive so I'm very excited about that I have a new cream blush from X Revolution I want to play with Viseart that I've never tried before I have a gorgeous palette from Gourmand Girls that I may pull in as well because the shimmer in there is top notch I have some new brushes from Unearthly Cosmetics I have lippies from Christian Odette in the collaboration with my friend uh, Tara Lynn here on YouTube which her channel I will link down below obviously and I'm just going to smear some makeup on the face. And if that sounds of interest to you, if you want to learn more about this type of stuff, and if you are also slightly orcish like me, then this is the channel for you. Subscribe now, become part of my Nestlings because we are having a blast here on the internet. I forgot to tell you, I'm also vintage. Like my dress. With vintage, I mean I'm no longer 25, which I'm fine with. But yeah, uh, let's uh, let's actually start with. Shall we start with this? I the the thing that I did do though was my skincare sunscreen and uh, brow gel. So that is in my brows already. Um, and I'm kind of I don't know if I want to apply this with a brush or with a sponge. So let's get both. I have a dry sponge though. Let me wet my sponge first. Mission successful. Sponge is wetted. Quit it. Never mind. So what does it say? This is in the shade Light Olive. And I got this on Beauty Bear. Don't know if it's in stock currently. The last time I checked, I don't think that they had this. But they had a Light Olive and I think they had a Medium Olive. And I'm kind of in the middle. So I was like, let me just try it. Okay. Well, is this, this is not really light though. Color wise. Um, but okay. Wow. Uh, let's see with a sponge first. Or with a brush first. Let's see what it does. I, I, they actually say use your fingers, but I'm not really proficient with that. It's not light, people. It's more, it's honestly, it's more, uh, I want to say light medium. I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be a very, very light coverage, right? Because it's a tinted moisturizer. How does it feel? It does feel nice. So let's on the other side for fancies do the fingers. Okay, so let's use the fingers. I don't like this. Okay, no, I... <laughs> I'll just put it on the back of my hand, pick it up with a brush. I think that's... I think I like that method a little bit more. I actually... Fun fact is the test uh, dirty fingers, but... That's okay. <laughs> oh yeah, let me also give you an update on how the spiders are doing. <laughs> Let's do that. So the big one got a new terrarium. Uh, and I will... Well, I can put a picture up. But you will basically see the terrarium. Because she's not really... She's usually in her burrow. So if you are afraid of spiders, look away now. But she hasn't molted yet. Uh, she has a very big terrarium now for her size. But I like that. I don't know. I feel... Um, I will pull the picture down so I can talk about it. Uh, I actually feel that... It's nice that people say they don't need that much space. But how do you know? You know? In the wild, they have... Not that they go a lot of places. But they have more than 30 centimeters of space, right? So, I don't know. I just want to give her the option to roam around if she wants to. And if she stays on 5x5, five five, that's fine too. You know, I have the room to put at least one bigger tank. So... I actually, from my soul sister Debbie, and I will leave her channel name or her channel down below. <gasps> I got a box. Oh yeah, let me. You guys know how much I love that gel primer, right? Uh, my favorite is from Death and Candy Custom Creations, and I will link it. It's linked down below. But they also make a huge pot. So this is the one that she got me, and I'm very, very grateful. I don't know how much is in there. I have no idea, but it's a big ass jar. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to scoop out every time I need I need uh, some. So I will I probably have a little bit a little pot somewhere. Uh, but she also sent me a, a brow pen. This is from Lang Many. 
And this is Soft Brow Crayon in, I don't know, Soft what? Soft Eyebrow? Ah, yes. But I don't know the shade name. Um, maybe they just have one shade. This is what it looks like. So maybe that helps. I, oh, that sounds, looks like a nice, nice color. I cannot talk while I'm doing this, so I'm just going to kind of fill in the gaps a little bit. Which I wish I could do with my memory, but that's neither here nor there. Okay, I think that the color is nice. Uh, it's a nice, cool color. Um... And by that I mean not not turning a wonky red or anything. It's a nice, almost a grayer color. I have no idea where she got it from though. But I really like this pencil. So that is nice. I need to see if I can get a hold of it. That would be cool. Honestly, my bags have bags. Right now. Okay, and yeah, as I said, you can really see the redness still coming through. And apparently I have a lot of redness today. So let's just, I don't know, use a little bit of concealer. And I don't mind it on my cheeks because, you know, it's kind of where I'm going to put the blush as well. But it's these parts that I'm like, mm. But that's personal. But a product like this uh, is not meant for that. So I don't fault it for that. It's just my personal preference. But yeah, I'm happy with how this is looking. So, so far, I really like the look of this. It is, I feel maybe a little bit too dark. So maybe I need to bring it down my neck a little bit more. Which I can, because it's a tint of moisturizer. But it's olive. Usually products like this make me very, very orange. Make me look like an Oompa Loompa. It's usually not the... What I go for. Uh, I also have a new, what is it, cream blush from X Revolution. It's the shade Folklore. It's one of the wallflower blushes. And it looks very, very cute. It looks more orange. Does this help? Not really. It's more orange than it looks on camera. A little bit more vibrant. But I think it looks pretty. So let's feel it. Okay. It feels... I don't want to say powdery but it is is it a cream to powder then it's a cream blusher so ah, with this brush which is a little bit more oh okay which is a little bit more open that's a pretty color it it's interesting though because i can see a lot on my bristles um but when i kind of swipe on my hand a little bit not a lot comes off but when i do then put it on my face it's cute uh, I am going to kind of enhance some of my freckles that I have. So this one. And not really enhance, but basically reapply a little. So it looks a little bit, I don't know, almost more natural. Let me get... Let me get Charlotte, because why not? I do need a light one, though. And I'm going to just... I don't know, strategically powder here and there. A little bit. So that is that. Um, I think I'm going to go to eyeshadow. So I also kind of have a new eyeshadow primer. I have been trying this one a little bit. But yeah, it's a Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And I do really like the way that it is looking. I love the aesthetic of this. And this is an, this is an interesting... I don't know, I want to say an interesting formula. I don't really... I like it. But it, it, I think that if you have dry eyelids, you will really like it. I think that if you have oily eyelids, I, I honestly don't really think so. I, I think you won't really like it then. But maybe if you have this one, uh, let me know. Let us know what kind of eyelids you have. So I think that I will love this in winter because um, of the fact that... You know, it's a little bit more hydrating. Also, what I love about this is it does not really have a base. It has a base shade, but li a little, a little bit. And for me, that's, that is ideal because I am an olive. All the base, all the bases that I use, they work on me. So, yeah, so, so far I really do like it. I have Viseart here and I, I ordered two of the Petit Four. So I ordered the lavender and I ordered the peach. I think I'm going to use the lavender today. Because there's a shade of the Galactic Gourmand that I'm kind of eyeing. 
So I thought let's let's use the lavender today. So it's for me for the first time that I'm using Viseart. So I'm actually very curious. I have also kind of already been using the brush set. Um, and I really like it. I like this one actually more than her first brush set. This was sent to me in PR from uh, Unearthly Cosmetics. Uh, all the brushes are available individually. And you can also buy them as a set. And I will try to mention the ones that I use. So the one that I actually use for my primer is from her previous line. I don't know if it's still available. I don't think so because it says Alien Cosmetics. But this is the A6. And then I... Which was the one that I wanted to start with. I really like these brushes, honestly. And they are all very, very small brushes. So basically, this is the biggest one. Which, compared to my eye, it's still pretty small, right? So that is good. Let me zoom you in a little bit. Let's, let's use all the mattes, because I can. So I'm going to start with the lightest one, just for funsies. Okay. I'm not too shabby. Uh, so yeah, an update on the tarantulas. So I already mentioned that Scarlet, Scarlet O'Hara, that's her name, that's the bigger one. And it's a T uh, Vagon. And I always, I remember that because I always have to think of vegan. She's not though, she eats crickets. Yes, yeah, so she has a nice big house. Uh, and she's doing well. She, uh, she, you know, she's coming out when she's hungry and... Uh, she's looking healthy, she's eating, she's not in... I thought she was in pre mold but I don't think so actually anymore because she is just, I don't know, burrowing. Maybe I need to change up the terrarium a little bit. I'm going to go to the second darkest now, which is this one. Uh, that one, which is a little bit more blue. Uh, and a little bit more, I want to say, lavender. And it's going to go next to it. The one that actually has done the most is the baby. So when I got the baby, I was told that it was uh, a Gramstola Pulgra, which is uh, in the common language, it's a Brazilian black. Let me put up a picture of a full grown adult Brazilian black. So if you are afraid of spiders, look away now. So this is... It, it's just a stunning one. Uh, it's huge, it's stunning, it's black and glossy, it's... They call it the Labrador under, under the, ter the tarantulas, I believe at least. Um, so yeah, I'll pull the picture down now. So it's good enough to uh, watch if you are afraid of spiders again. He already gave me a, a quite a scare uh, with molting. So what happened is that when I got him, he, he, he was small and he was brown. And uh, you could already tell that he was a tarantula, but he was um, his body was kind of like yay big. So around a centimeter and a half from, from butt end to top head, you know, something like that. First time he molted, he molted just out in the open. He molted out in the open that I was like, what's happening there? Why is he in such a weird angle? So the first time it went okay. And he was, he molted black. And that was very, very cool because, yeah, you know, that was supposed to be his color. So he looked a little bit less than... Uh, a common house spider, not that there's anything wrong with those, but yeah, if you have a tarantula, you don't want it to look like a common house spider now, do you? Uh, so he molted, and then I then I saw him for about two weeks, and then he basically dug a hole, and uh, and he was gone, and I offered him food he didn't want to eat, so I was like, okay, well, okay, fine. That's okay, you know, they can go without food for a long, long time. I'm actually going to go to the darkest shade next. Uh, the brush that I was using was the... Um, UC8 for, no, 8.7. I'm going now to the 8.5, which is even smaller. And the darkest shade. It's interesting because you can really tell that it is also, on me at least, a different purple. Okay. Uh, yeah, I didn't see him for two weeks. Then I, I saw him, uh, I looked in his bureau one day and I was like, oh my lord, he's, de he's dying, he's dying. So I, I was all panicky. I took him to the kitchen or at least a, a small terrarium to the kitchen and I have very big pliers or very long pliers. So I, uh, or tongs, I don't know what you call them. It's this, but then huge, yes. And um, I very carefully opened up his bureau and he was, he had molted again. So I was like, what the hell is going on? Why? It's supposed to be a slow-growing species. Why is he molting again? So, yeah. But it happens, you know. So he molted again. Black again this time. And he was just so, so stunning. 
um, you could really, you know, with every mold he gets about one and a half size bigger almost, which is so interesting to think about that he is just in that tiny body and then he just really needs to grow out of it. And he just, you know, expands one and a half times out of his previous mold. He was doing well and everything, you know, and he was just, the, he was a black tiny tarantula. Um, I'm going to go back to the first brush. Then, I think it was last week, I looked at him and I was like, it looks to be like he's, his knees are a little bit more furry and lightening up. So I actually said to my husband, I think that he's going to molt again soon. I'm going to go to the second color again. I think he's going to molt again soon because it looks like he's too big for his legs. You know, that he's kind of busting at the seams almost. And then um, he went, uh, he's, he's usually on display and... Then he went into his burrow, which isn't weird that he does that. And usually a day later, he's coming back out. And I was like, okay, if he doesn't come out, he's probably going in pre-mold, which is fine. Um, I'm going to the lightest shade again. The next day, he was still, uh, you know, the half of the day he was still in his burrow. And then he came out and um, he just, you know, he's always stuck to it. He has a very, very small heating mat on the outside of the terrarium. The reason for that is they are in my living room and it's just especially in winter pretty cold they need to be kept at a temperature of say 20 preferably a little bit warmer they're mexican spiders or brazilian spiders right they need more warmth so that's why he has a heating mat on one side uh, and he can choose where he wants to go he, there's always water in his tank and i got the tip from a man who has tarantulas for eons here in in the netherlands and it's just easier especially if you have a big space to heat them up like that on one side of the terrarium. It's on the outside. It's not flush against. He has a choice. It's basically, there's, there is a reason behind it. And I know people are, some people are saying you shouldn't. Others are saying it's fine. I'm looking at how my tarantula is doing. My tarantula is doing extremely well. So for, for me, this works, right? They blend into each other very, very nicely, by the way. And I, I, in the evening, I was basically looking at him and I said to my husband, I said, look at his legs. His legs are, they were lightening up as I was looking at him. And I was like, I think something is wrong. I, I was like, I think that something is wrong. Now on Facebook, I am a part of, I think, three or four tarantula communities, you know, Facebook uh, groups. So I was like, you know what? Let me, let me make pictures and let me ask. So I put it in the groups. I'm going to do the same on the bottom of my eye. So this one on the outside, that in the middle and that in the beginning. And the brush I'm going to use for that is the uh, number three, UC83, yes. Which is a slanted brush. But it has a little bit more surface area almost. So... So I put it in Facebook groups and I was like, can you help me? Because I think something is wrong with my spider. Uh, and then someone said, do you have a picture of a previous picture? Um, so I pulled up pictures from a few days before that. And I was looking at the picture and I was like, it looks like he's bigger. So I, I opened up his bureau on the side. I could see in the side and he had molted again. But he ain't a Brazilian black. Because he's not black anymore. So now I'm kind of... I, I have an idea of what kind of spider it is. So I'm doing research. I'm, uh, I'm finding basically kind of books online that can tell you if it's uh, a brachypelma or... Um, what's, I will put the other word on the screen because I keep forgetting. So looking at the head plate in that... The picture of the head plate in that uh, PDF format. Uh, I'm... I try to make pictures of the head plate of Vlad because I renamed him. Um, and it, it looks to be a bicoloratum. Just looking at everything together. So looking at his coloring, looking at his head plate, his eyes look on stilts. He was already, he was also posing for me. It was so cool. He also got a new terrarium, by the way. And I'll put a picture up of the new tank. So if you are afraid, look away now. And I will also put a picture up of him close up so that you can really see i don't know how he's looking i just want to show him off he is on display he is posing for my camera scarlet is like bitch i have better things to do so yeah so and i just think look at this face how can you not love a face like that 
I don't know. There are discussions about this. I actually, I'll pull the pictures down now so it's safe again. I actually uh, talked to Debbie about this and I was like, how can you not love that face? And she was like, well, I don't. And then I'm like, but for me, it gives me the same feeling as if my cat is, my cat is looking at me lovingly. It's very interesting. I'm going to go to the light to shade again. And the brush I'm using now is the number six. Yes. And it is kind of a, it kind of likes, it looks like this. It reminds me a little bit of the Morphe E36, but it has a little bit more of a tip. I, uh, I really like this brush. So basically I am kind of, everything that I can see, that uh, I can see side by side, because it basically went, it's either a brachypelma or, you know, the A, the A word that I cannot figure out. Um, I also made a picture of his head plate from above and you can really see that because with the brachypelma, but they have a red, basically a darker red center head and then a lighter ring on the outside uh, and the legs are red and mine has, it, they, they're not red. So they're more, I don't want to say uh, orange, kind of, but I also, I almost, I almost want to say it's more of a, it's more leaning towards light brown almost. So it's very, very interesting. Um, but yeah, so we, I'm not really sure what type it is right now, but I know for sure it ain't a Brazilian. So th there, there is that. It's, he's keeping me on my toes, that one. Uh, yeah, so that's basically the update and that's what I'm working on right now. I'm actually trying the shimmer that's in here. Wow, she was not expecting that. Cute. What I am going to do though is I'm going to pull up the Gourmand Girls palette. So I'm actually going to use the Death and Candy uh, gel primer and I am going to use the brush number nine from uh, Alien Cosmetics, which you can use as a concealer brush but i kind of want to see how it works with shimmers and if it works for me with shimmers so i'm grabbing a little bit of the gel just making sure that my brush is coated and then i'm tapping it on my eyelid so the shade i'm going to use is the shade called comet and it's a stunning shade so oh that's pretty i'm just tapping it on saturating the primer Very, very pretty. I'm going to go back to the lightest shade of the palette. Because I'm kind of missing it here a little bit. Uh, the, the shimmer that I have here in the palette, I'm just going to use here. Cute. I think that's cute. I really, really like this color. I really do. So for lips, I grabbed the Christian Odette. Let me zoom out a tad. The Christian you know, that collaboration with my friend Tara Lynn. So there, there is a lipstick and a lip gloss. So the lipstick is the shade Bare Nectar. And it is described as her perfect peach. And it is just so, so pretty. I think it's cute. I think this is a cute, cute color. Let's for funsies top it with the gloss because I know that you can. It makes it a little bit more pink. I really like the color of these. And I love the combination together. I'm going to keep on playing with this as well. But first impression, I love Christian Odette's formula anyway. So, mm. so let me finish off the look with a liner and falsies and an eye pencil. And then I will be right back and I will kind of go over everything quickly. Uh, the foundation has set as well. So yeah, I'll be, I'll be back in just a second. I finished off the, off the look with a green eye pencil because I thought it would be fun to, uh, I don't know, do a spruce of green in there as well. And this is from Glam Shop in the shade Nubia. I don't know if they still carry these though. I hope that they will restock them because they're awesome. Uh, and yeah, the, the falsies are, I don't know. I uh, As I'm filming this, I don't know, but if I can find out, I will link them in the description box. Let me zoom out a little. No, let me zoom in first so you can see how the foundation is looking. Um, and let me uh, do that. So you can, well, basically see that it is still very much my skin shining through. Which I knew, because that's what it's looking like. It's, you know, it's a tinted moisturizer at the end of the day. Let me pull up the light again. Yes. If I don't forget, I will also put in a clip of uh, me outside. So you can see what it looks like outside. Because this for me is very much an outside uh, 
foundation. I can make it work uh, with filming and editing me here. Yes, I did forget. So while I'm editing, I'm wearing the foundation right now. Anyway, different eyeshadow palette, but same foundation. I did powder it a little bit more today because I'm experimenting and it's pretty outside. That was the gist of it. I think it looks very, very pretty. And I actually got compliments when I wore it uh, to my uh, niece's birthday party. So that's very, very good. Yeah, it wears away nicely. It wears well throughout the day. And let me go closer a little bit so you can kind of see how it is looking with my phone and such so yeah this is the breaking in part let's go back to the regular programming and i can close off the video i like the packaging i like the fact that it's in a squeezy tube and not in a tube with a pump i detest tubes with a pump but this i think it looks nice it looks sleek the only thing though it's actually the sticker is pretty true to color but it's not a light olive now it is a tint of moisturizer so I can get away with it But for me already I do feel like it kind of evened everything out a little bit Especially when I put on the lighter concealer But at the end of the day It is too dark for me in the depths of winter And then I'm a light olive So now I am I'm not really a medium olive I am in my In my height of summer color Even though I always wear sunscreen I do tan quickly I am a medium just under medium and this is uh, this is then probably too light but this is more of a light medium olive so i hope that is helpful if you are too light this will be too dark for you i am going to keep on trying this i'm so excited to keep on trying this i also have the um, kosas um basically oil a uh, tinted oil on the way and I'm very excited to try that one as well. But yeah, I think that it looks very pretty. So I cannot wait to try it more. Let me know your thoughts. And I will give my final judgment in the best of beauty of the month of June. Yes. Uh, which will be the beginning of July. Uh, the blush. I think that the blush is very pretty. It feels set, but it doesn't feel powdery. Um, I think the color is pretty. They had a bunch of colors. And I also like the component a lot. Um, let's go to the eyeshadow palette. I really like this. I am very, very much... Listen, this was kind of hyped up in my mind a little bit. I had a certain idea of how it would function. And how it would behave. And how it would look. And it is very much up to the high expectation that I had. Um, it's very much up to par. So... I, I, I want more. What can I say? I'm finally on the Viseart train and I am very, very happy that I did. I kind of want to, I had my eye on the, which one was it? Was it the dark edit? I think it, the one in the dark purple packaging. I had my eye on for so long and I was like, no, I don't want to because I don't know how the formula is. Uh, but now I'm quite sad that I didn't. I don't even know if I can still get it at Woozy Shop. I will have to check. But yeah, this one makes me very, very hopeful. I also really want to try out this one, but I will probably do it on ca uh, off camera. I'm not sure though. And then the Gourmand Girls. As I only use one shade, I'm very, very well aware. But I can feel them. I can see them. I can swatch them. And they are for me very much on the same. They're the same quality as Saints Angel Sinners. And I love that formula. So Yeah, the other colors I do want to play with. Uh, I don't know when, but I really, really wanted to try this one on camera. And this shade, it's just a stunning shade. And I, I really feel that it goes very, very well with the rest of the look and with the dress. And I can also see this one really working with a, a blue look or green or, you know, there's just so much going on in this shade. I think it's stunning. And the other shades are stunning as well. It's just that this one caught my fancy today. Uh, I will link down below where you can find it I don't know if it's still in stock but I will link it down below I do have an affiliate code with her uh, And it will be linked down below as well um, And then the Christian Odette Lippy. I think that the color is stunning The gloss on its own is pretty as well Now me being an olive Pink shades I'm very particular about my pink shades now Because especially if I have a foundation That's the correct color If I have, because I'm a warmer olive, oh yeah, I forgot to mention that, I'm a warmer olive. This was also a warmer product. So if you are a cool-toned olive, uh, this will probably make you orange. Because it's too warm. I can tell you now. If you are a cool-toned and you make this work, let me know how you do it. Um, but pinks for me, if I have a pink that is very... 
uh, too light for instance or very blue leaning it makes me more green uh, especially with the correct foundation so if i have a foundation on that's neutral it makes me pink then it doesn't matter that much but if i have a correct foundation shade on it just makes me look more green this is muted enough to work with my with the mutedness this is almost almost too bright of clothing for me um not that i care that much but this this is on the on the border so This is kind of, you see the dress and me, but the dress comes a little bit before me, if that makes any sense at all. If I wear neon, I fade away. If I wear black, I fade away, which I know and which I use also. So yeah, but this does not take me over. It works with me. So if I, for instance, use this one on my lips from NYX, it is very popping. It very takes me over. And then it's really like, wow, you're wearing a bright lip. And that's just, that's just how it works for me. This... Um, is a gorgeous pink on me this is a gorgeous shade on me and together i love the combination together so so much i think it's so so pretty and i also cannot wait to layer this on top of the one that i have from mel the shade puffin which i can also make work it's bright so you see the lippy but it still works and uh, i cannot i cannot wait to try this one on top of that because i think that will be very very pretty as well and i think that is everything that oh yeah and the falsies the falsies are very cute They're kind of wispy with a black band, so I can still put them underneath my lashes, uh, the way that I've been doing my I, my lashes lately. And I think they're, they're cute and fluffy. I have different styles that I will try as well, but they feel nice. So yeah, And that was it for today. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the spider update as well. And if if you are were like this, I kind of hope that I could keep the pictures short. I, honestly, I love them so much. It, and it sounds so weird because they're spiders, but I love my spiders. And I'm I'm actually realizing that now. And I realized it yesterday when uh, when Count Vlad posed for me that I was like, look at these little eyes, he's posing over me. Kind of like that. I know some of you understand completely what I'm talking about. Others will probably be like, bitch, you're crazy. Yeah, I know. I'm cray cray. But I like that. So yeah, let me know. Uh, let me know if you have any tarantulas. Let me know what kinds you have. And uh, go follow me on Instagram and send me pictures. Because I want to see the pictures. Um, if you have other uh, weird animals, let me know. Well, basically, if you have an animal, let me know. Send them through DM on Instagram. Because I love to see animal pictures. And uh, yeah, if you're here still, leave me an animal emoji down below. It can be any animal you want. It can be an insect. It can be whatever you want uh, and then that is going to be it thank you so so much for watching if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you have any questions or comments please leave them down in the comment section below i am going to wish you a fantastic day a fabulous evening and may your foundation always match your neck yeah and i'll see you very soon in my next one bye guys